are learning more tonight about the man accused of viciously stabbing author Salman Rushdie during a public appearance. The 24-year-old suspect appeared in court today, his attorney entering a plea of not guilty to second-degree attempted murder and assault charges. ABC's Mola Lange reporting tonight from Erie, Pennsylvania, where Rushdie is being treated. Tonight, detectives calling the brazen attack on author Salman Rushdie at a Western New York lecture series an apparent assassination attempt. And they say the suspect, 24-year-old Hadi Mutlad of New Jersey, has shown strong indicators of ideological support for the Iranian regime. Authorities say among the images investigators found on Mutlad's phone, photos of Iranian Major General Qasem Soleimani, who was killed in a U.S. drone strike. The incident occurring Friday morning at the Chautauqua Institution, just after Rushdie got on stage to speak, Mathar allegedly stabbing Rushdie multiple times. Once he got Mr. Rushdie on the stage floor, he just continued to go at him. First responders airlifting Rushdie to this Erie, Pennsylvania hospital, where he underwent surgery and is now being treated. Rushdie's agent telling ABC News Friday evening that Salman will likely lose one eye. The nerves in his arm were severed and his liver was stabbed and damaged. Mathar now charged with attempted second-degree murder and second-degree assault, his attorney pleading not guilty on his behalf. President Biden calling the attack vicious and that Rushdie stands for essential universal ideals. Iran's Grand Ayatollah Khomeini had called for Rushdie's death more than 30 years ago. Rushdie's 1988 book, The Satanic Verses, considered by some Muslims to be insulting to Islam. In Tehran tonight, this man saying he was glad because the insult Rushdie made against our prophet and the fatwa Khomeini issued against him finally worked. Investigators do not know at this point whether the Ayatollah's prior call to assassinate Rushdie was a motivating factor in Friday's attack. Mola joining us now from outside the hospital where Rushdie is being treated. And Mola, has there been any reaction tonight from the Iranian regime to this attack? Well, Mary, no official comments, but we have heard from news outlets with close ties to the regime. One newspaper calling the attacker courageous uh, and another one running with the headline Satan on the path to Inferno. Mary.